That is actually booming in the market. So I wanted to start with uh, Cognos reporting and then go with uh, Data Warehouse, uh, any tool like Informatica and uh, MicroStrategy. MicroStrategy, it is not a ETL tool, um, Raja. Okay, yeah, so that is a yeah, reporting tool. It's not an ETL tool, it is actually for the mobile. Uh, uh, At mobile, that is purely reporting only, and okay, you can create dashboards and all those things using MicroStrategy. Okay. Like okay, so the same competitor for Cognos. Oh, it is just like Cognos, and it is only only reporting. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm not good at uh, this all these things, but I'm thinking of taking Informatica and Cognos. Okay. Uh, As per your knowledge, okay, what is the Cognos? What is the purpose of Cognos? Basically, a reporting tool uh, which is uh, going going to go against. Uh, any kind of uh, data input and uh, provide uh, reports to the end users in a more present format. The, who is the end users for okay, so Cognos generally as per your knowledge? Uh, it could be business users or salesmen. Uh, yeah, that's all. Okay, check here, uh, Roger. Generally, the Cognos, MicroStrategy, Business Objects, OBAW, these are all reporting tools, decision support systems. DSS. Okay. So generally, okay, so it is okay useful for middle level and okay high level managers only. Okay. If you check okay, you mentioned salesman. Okay, so in any organization, salesman can't take any decision. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. True. For example, if you went to Walmart store, Walmart store front end person is there. That is okay, so salesperson. He can't take any decision. For example, one product is okay, almost okay, goods is completed, so then store manager, he can take a decision. Okay, we need to order okay, so these goods from warehouse like that. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. True, yes. For example, okay, so uh, they are interested to give hype, or else they are interested to give bonus. So the low level people, they can't take any decision. If they want to give bonus, they okay, so middle level or high level managers want to take a uh, decision. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So like that, okay, so that it will support, okay, so middle level and high level, mean, okay, so uh, management, so many decision support systems. Okay. Okay, in market, okay, different types of reporting tools are there, like Cognos is okay from IBM product and some other tools also, like uh, uh, business objects, business objects mm -hmm. from SAP system, micro strategy, it's micro strategy corporation only. OBAW from Oracle Corporation, like that different reporting tools are there. Okay. But 60 to 70 percent of marketing, okay, so reporting marketing occupied by Cognos. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, so you are, okay, from past, okay, a number of years you are working in, okay, so uh, IT, if you check most of the uh, banking, finance sector and all this, they would prefer IT products mainly. Operating system, mainframes operating system, and Lotus Notes, okay, so for internal mail, DB2 or Netija for database like that. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, okay, IBM products provide more security to data. That's why most of the clients, okay, so they are interested to go for uh, Cognos, mainly it is providing more security for their data. Okay. You are able to follow? Yeah, yes, yeah, okay, please go ahead. Okay, so Cognos, okay, if you check presently, 10.2 10 version, okay, so it's okay in market, okay, if you, you are able to see my screen, na? Yes, yes. Okay, mainly, okay, so Cognos contains two parts, framework manager, okay, Windows user interface, and you are totally reporting available in web user interface. Mm -hmm. You know anything about framework manager? Yeah, it's a modeling tool. Why we need to create a model? Sorry, come again? Why we need to create a model? Um, the database might not, might not have all the relationships uh, or uh, we can uh, import from uh, the database and create our own uh, relationship, cardinality, everything. And, uh, uh, one minute, okay, Raja. Check here. If there is no relationship between uh, tables in database means if you create relationship in framework manager, it will create cross product job. Is it correct? Yes. Okay, so then okay, so we are not creating any new relationships here. 
check okay you are working in java okay so java level okay you are bringing in you are changing the format and all those things are okay so you are not creating any uh, relationships at java level is it correct yeah okay so like that Hello. it will create okay so joins means it will create cross product join it will go to database and okay there is no joins it will create cross product join Hello, I hello, sir. Hello, Satya. Yeah. Hello, Satya. Sorry to interrupt you. Uh, voice is repeating. Uh, I think someone, you, uh, you need to. Someone is not uh, using headset. Roja, are I'm you using headset? headset? No, I'm not. Uh, uh, I'm try. Using headset. Uh, yes, yes. Try to use headset, ma'am. Uh, why? Because voice is repeating. Satya, voice is repeating in your laptop. Equaling that sir. Yes, yes. Okay, that's the problem. Can you hold on line for one second, please? Let me grab my. Yes, yes. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Yes, Satya, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Now, okay, so framework means that mainly, okay, you can bring the data from database and you can change the model according to your data uh, requirements. For example, okay, in my database, income column is there, expenses, two columns are there. But in my reports, they are expecting profit, but it is not available in database. I will bring income and expenses column from database and I will create profit column. Income minus expenses. Okay. I think in your Java screens also you are doing same thing. Okay, so you are not creating new joins, but you are creating new calculated columns. Is it mm -hmm. correct? That is true, Satya. Okay, like that. Okay, we can create new calculated columns. Or it's multi-dimensional modeling. You know anything about multi-dimensional modeling? Uh, no, kind of cubes. You mean to say? Yes, cubes. Okay, so you can apply drill down and drill up. For example, in your Java screens also. Okay, for example, they are viewing data at a year level. If they want to see in detail, you are applying okay, so some code and okay, so you are drilling down to quarter level, month level, week level like that. So like that mm -hmm. here, mean okay, so databases are relational models. We will bring relational data and we will create multi-dimensional model at framework manager level. Okay. You are able to follow? Yeah, yes, okay. If you check all the databases, DB2, Netija, Oracle, all databases are relational databases only. Okay, but okay, most of the reports they are expecting multi-dimensional modeling. So we will bring relational data into framework manager level and we will create multi-dimensional model. Okay. And okay, you mentioned that we will create joins. We will not create any joins. We will modify joins. For example, database level outer joins are there. If you don't want outer joins, so that time we will change it to inner joins. Okay, okay. Okay. It will not bring outer join data. Means okay, not matching data. It will okay. It will not bring. But we can't create any new joins here. Okay. 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 So you can create. Okay. You can create, but it will create okay cross product join. In database there is no join. If you create framework manager, it will create cross product join. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 So mm -hmm. now. That is modeling tool. You can create multi-dimensional model. You can create new calculated columns, new query subjects, and all those things at framework manager level, which is suitable for your report requirement. Okay. For example, mm -hmm. my database is not supporting my report requirement directly. That time I will use framework manager as a mediator, and it will create a model which is suitable for my report requirements. Okay. You are able to follow, or I am going fast, Roger? No, Satya. Please go ahead. Fine. Okay, coming to reporting point of view. Okay, total reporting at web user interface only. Okay, mm -hmm. as per your knowledge, how many reporting tools are there in Cognos 10, Roja? Mm, kind of uh, five to six. It's totally six reporting tools. Presently here it is displaying only two reporting tools. 
okay mm -hmm. mainly if you want noted on query studio repo studio analysis studio event studio workspace and workspace advance okay in cognosite workspace and workspace advance is not there in cognosite they added two more tools called workspace and workspace advance okay so totally six reporting tools are there okay six reporting tools we have user interface only mm -hmm. so now cognos connection is single access point for all your reporting tools if you open cognos connection then only you are able to connect to any one of the reporting tools okay you are able to follow yes yes for example in your ok so javascript main page will be there after that ok sub ok so in that main page you will provide uh, uh, http links something it will connect to different pages like that cognos is connection is the main page if you open cognos connection all six reporting tool links will display in cognos connection page from there you can open any one of the reporting tool you can't open reporting tool directly without cognos connection okay now cognos viewer okay so you are able to see report viewer yeah in cognos connection okay next to report studio report viewer is there generally for end user purpose we will use a report viewer they are not developing any reports what the reports you developed okay they will run and they will view the report output is it correct yeah mm -hmm. they are not technical people okay they are okay non technical okay business users they don't know how to create reports also if you provide report to your query studio access na unnecessarily you need to pay the license for that okay tool every tool is separate license so that's why if you provide access to business users you need to pay okay license for that person also that's why generally we will provide report viewer access okay what are the reports you created they will run and they will view the report outputs okay you able to follow yes yes but some users we will provide query studio access uh, roja okay so because okay so they know basically technical knowledge and all those things if they want to create any ad hoc reports we will provide query studio access by using query studio they can create their own reports also only limited users we will provide query studio access also okay okay now if you check if you open framework manager or okay cognos connection generally in real time it will ask user id password or else sometimes it will not ask because they will activate single sign on i think you already know about single sign on mhm mm yeah if it activated single sign on it will not ask user id password it will take os user id password or else okay, so okay, if you it uh, sometimes it will ask user id password once you enter into okay user id password it comes to web server layer cognos okay. is three tier architecture it contains web server layer cognos server layer and database layer three layers mhm mm once you enter user id password it will comes to web server layer in web server layer it will verify whether you are authorized user or not okay your web server gateway will be okay apache tomcat you can use rls http server you can use iis also you can use as a web server okay Okay, generally okay. So IIS okay, very limited companies they are using, but generally HTTP or Apache Tomcat they are using as a web server gateway. Okay. okay. Now, if you are other as user, then it goes to Cognos server layer. In Cognos server layer, it contains mainly two parts: dispatcher and content manager. Okay. Dispatcher. Okay, it will start all your Cognos related services. For example, in your laptop, also services are there. Some services, manual services, some services, automatic services, like that. Okay, so some services are there. If the services started, then only your system, okay, laptop will work smoothly. Is it correct? Yes. For your Java, also some services will be there. Okay, Java. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's if that services started, then only you are able to work with uh, that. Okay, so the uh, program. Like that, Cognos also different services, presentation services, report services, schedule services. Like that, the different services will be there. Your dispatcher will start all your Cognos related services. Okay. You are able to follow? Yes, yes. Now, second part of okay, your Cognos server is content manager. Content manager. Okay, before discussing content manager, we will discuss about third layer content store. Okay. You know anything about content store? Project? No, no. Content store is your Cognos repository. 
for I think okay for your Java also some repository will be there. Is it correct? Your Java related code will store in specific location. Yes. Like that, Cognos repository is contestor. All your Cognos related information will store into that contestor. Your framework manager model, report studio, report structures, query studio, report structures, analysis studio, report structures. Your user information, Cognos user information, all things available in contestor. All your Cognos related information will store on contestor. Okay. And contestor contains only skeletons. Report structure only. It doesn't contain report with data. Oh, okay. For example, your Java screen. Okay, Java screen doesn't contain any data. Is it correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you open that screen, okay, it will back end, it will connect to database and it will fetch data and it will display in your Java screens. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. Like that, okay, so contest or okay, so it contains only report structures only. It doesn't contain any business data. Whenever you run the report, structure will bring from contest or and data, uh, data will bring from your data, database. That's why query database also there, if you check in right hand side. Query database is your data warehouse, data mart or database. Okay. Okay. So only Cognos related structures will be available in contestor. Okay. okay. Contestor also contains okay uh, 160 to 170 tables. Okay. Depends on okay the services and depends on the uh, okay active okay so what are the things you activated. So now total contestor management done by your content manager. Okay. If you are saving framework manager model. Content manager knows that okay, this is framework manager model. I need to save in specific location in content store like that. If you are saving report studio structure, content manager okay, so this is report studio structure. So I need to save in specific location in content store like that. Okay, so total content store management done by your content manager. That is a kind of database uh, which is holding everything related to Cognos. Cognos. Okay. okay total content store management done by your content manager. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Cognos basic architecture, uh, Roja. So coming to our course point of view, I will start with the first okay, modeling tool framework manager. After that, okay, I will cover all the six reporting tools, Query Studio, Report Studio, Analysis Studio, Event Studio, Workspace, Workspace Advanced, and Cognos connection for basic administration and all those things I will cover. Okay. And okay, so you have any specific concerns, okay, let me know, we can, we can discuss about that point of view. Um, Satya, um, I'm thinking like I heard that there is a Cognos SDK also which can be uh, used in the Java platform. Do you touch yes. that as well? SDK, okay, we can't touch it as well here, uh, uh, because okay, we need to have separate license for the SDK also. Oh, okay. okay. And if you check, okay, SDK is very, very less opportunities. If you got opportunity, you can work very easily, but SDK we need to take separate license. And if you search in Google also, Cognos Corporation is okay, suggesting don't use SDKs. Oh, why is that? Well, means okay, so you are overwriting the tool functionality. Is it correct? Mm -hmm. It is basically, I heard yes. that Cognos SDK will be used a kind of plugin into the Java platform and you can call no, the okay, check here. Oh, oh, as per your knowledge, what is SDK? Raja, what is SDK? Like an uh, API for Cognos? Okay, so Cognos developed okay, in Java, okay, previously. Now you can use, okay, in SDK you can use Java, .NET, anything, no problem. Previously they used, okay, so Java. Okay, now, okay, for example, report studio, some specific structure they have developed using Java. If you want to change the structure, that time you need to use SDK. You are able to follow? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For example, one interface is there. Okay, so they developed okay, report studio purpose one interface. Okay, you are interested to change that interface. So that time, okay, you need to okay change the SDK. So okay, SDK code. So that time the interface will change. So Cognos Corporation is suggesting don't okay change SDKs. So if you change SDKs, it will overwrite okay the tool okay default tool functionality. Then what is okay, the purpose want, they have released that as uh, But okay, so you okay, so for example, you okay, you are not able to achieve okay using tool functionality. So that time, if you want, okay, you can take risk and you can okay overwrite tool functionality. But okay, so some if okay, if you use SDK, 
if it is not working properly cognos corporation can't okay so support you also oh uh, okay because okay so you change the tool functionality okay what are the things you change okay so they okay they are not able to support that one is it correct mm -hmm. for example java okay so some functionality is there okay you change it okay so for example one function is there for that function okay you change the total functionality Mm -hmm. Okay, so that time, okay, so Java corporation, okay, our Oracle also they can't support because the functionality you totally changed. That's why, okay, so if you change SDK, sometimes, okay, so Cognos corporation also will not work. But now in SDK, if you want, you can use Java or .NET also. Not only Java, presently in 10 version onwards, you can use Java or .NET also. Mm -hmm. Okay, but uh, Satya, I heard that uh, through Java web application, I can internally call a report and display it on the... Uh, that one I will show you, that one I will show you in Cognos connection level. For example, if you want to see Cognos BA report in Java screens or .NET screens or any other screens, I will show you that one, no problem. Okay, so that is not how, where you use... That is not SDK, that is not SDK. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, now for example, check here. Uh, this is the, okay, so screen. Okay, generally if you see, okay, so my framework manager want to display right hand side, that is okay, so my screen. Okay, that is default screen. But okay, you want to display this, okay, so framework manager in left hand side. So that time you need to go to, okay, so the software development kit, okay, you are changing the code totally. Okay, okay. Okay, Got it. so you are changing the code, okay, so you from uh, right hand side to left hand side, okay, so in Java, okay, so using Java or Datnet, you are changing the code totally. So if you change the source code, so Cognos may not be support that one. Uh, okay. Because you are changing the source code directly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Java source code will be there. If you change the source code, okay, so source code generally best practice are suggesting don't change the source code. Mm, okay. okay, you try to achieve using okay, so your programming skills and or else don't best practice are suggesting don't change the, the main source code. Like that here also. Product code, okay, so if you change, okay, so you need to check, okay, whether it is working properly or not, else, okay, you need to reinstall again, if it is not okay. working properly. And okay. you are asking, that one I will cover, okay, so if you check in, okay, our course curriculum also, how to integrate with Java screens and .NET screens, I will cover in my Cognos connection part, okay, so that part okay, I will cover. If you want to display your Cognos reports in uh, Java screens, .NET screens or any other web pages, okay, I will cover that one. That is not SDK. Okay, okay. Okay. Any other doubts? Um, you will be uh, uh, going over any real-time scenarios? I will explain Thank all real-time scenarios. Okay. Okay, I will explain all real-time scenarios, Arvija. Uh, okay, if okay, I am explaining any real-time scenario, I will ask you to note it down that point. Okay, or else, for example, you, okay, so you are working in, okay, some technology, if you face any uh, situation, okay, so your reports, okay, so in Java you created some reports, so if you want that time, okay, that type of things we can implement in our Cognos also, if you explain scenarios, that one, okay, we will try to achieve in Cognos also, and I will explain, okay, so scenarios, and if I am explaining any scenario, okay, before starting only, I will ask you to note it down that point. Okay and mainly okay where we will face the issues okay so if the issue okay so we are facing how to resolve that issue all the things i will cover in okay so my day to day classes okay how how long does it take uh, on the total uh, to go over this uh, okay okay i will mention 25 to 30 working hours uh, roja but it depends on student it may increase or it may decrease also okay okay Okay, okay, so for example, if the uh, student is able to understand the topics, that time it may decrease also. If student is not able to understand the topics, for example, you are telling, okay, you don't have much knowledge on data warehousing concepts. So that mm -hmm. time I need to explain data warehousing also, what is dimension, what is fact table, what is hierarchy. So that time it may increase also. Okay, okay. But I will tell 25 to 30 working hours, depends on student, it may increase or it may decrease also. So you are going to give the course material and any ad hoc work? Uh, uh, okay, I will give a hands-on, okay, so for example, okay, so today I will explain, for example, I explained Query Studio. 
okay. and okay so I, at that at, at end of the class i will ask okay i am expecting this report output only i will okay so i am okay, i will tell i am expecting this take of output so that day okay you need to check okay so functionality try to get that output in okay so your cognos if you are not able to get that output i will suggest okay how to okay, step by step process what you need to follow for example you got the output but you are not able to follow best practices so that time i will suggest you need to follow these best practices then okay performance will improve like that i will explain generally okay so you are going to tell how to uh, increase the performance of the reports also yes for example okay so you can create okay qualitative columns okay uh -huh. so you can create a framework manager level report level also for example single report okay so single uh, single report purpose we are not modifying framework manager model that time report level only for example you are using 100 reports that time better created framework manager level like that okay so i will check okay for example you created report i will check your report and that i will suggest okay if you did these things okay performance will improve in, improve or else okay so the uh, user interaction will be more better like that i will explain or else for example you are not able to get the output also so that time i will explain step by step process how to get that output okay okay so what what are you going to install on my pc do you provide all the software and everything for me yes okay the consultant okay the installation part okay consultant okay so the srinivas or kartik will take care so they will install okay cognos 10 software in your system after completion of the course also you can practice so it is 10.2 or 10.1 10.1 or 10.2 I don't know exactly but 10.1 and 10.2 not much differences okay 10.10 okay, okay so 8 differences are there but 10.2 and 10.1 not much differences but one okay main some differences are there but I will cover that one also but I don't know exactly which version they will install okay okay so and after completion of the course also you can practice that one so if I need help anywhere after the course, will you be giving me? Yes, okay, so we will, okay, so you can contact a consultant or, okay, so they will, okay, so, okay, so we arrange, okay, so one uh, go to meeting section and, okay, so we will provide support also, job support also. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Depends, okay, so Raj, I think you already know, okay, so job support, okay, maybe different. Okay, for example, if you are working for BFS client, Okay, we can't provide much support because, okay, so you can't share your screens and all those things. But if you are working with okay, different clients, okay, so that time you can share your screen using uh, Join Me or some other software. Depends mm -hmm. on, okay, so your client, okay, so it, uh, the support will change. Okay, okay. So, but you can provide a help if I come with a uh, question to yours. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, we will provide okay, so certification assistance also. If you want, you can after completion of the course, if you want to write certification in Cognos, okay, so you can write certifications. We will provide certification assistant and okay, every day we will record the section and we will provide recordings to you. Okay, at the time of practice, okay, so you can use that recordings. So the uh, the course content will be towards the certification approach as well. The certification approach, okay, so the course, okay, so is mainly for, okay, the, uh, the job purpose, but certification, okay, you need to go through more theory. Okay, I will explain you how to, okay, so uh, uh, go for, okay, that approach also, I will explain you, or else, okay, so if you want, okay, we will provide dump, okay, by using dump, dump also, you can write certification. Okay, 